Amidst the nationwide upward trend in the COVID cases, Union Health Minister Mansuk Mandavia is expected to chair a review meeting with health ministers of all states and union territories on Friday afternoon. On Wednesday, in fact, COVID Empowerment Working Group also conducted a review routine meeting. A Dr. B.K. Paul, Dr. Rajiv Bell, DGICMR and other senior health officials attended the meeting. Now, according to sources, this was a review meeting to know the COVID situation and preparedness in the country. In fact, uh, uh, we, uh, what has been underlined at the moment is that uh, there is need to remain alert, but there is no need to be uh, very worried about the situation. This is a variant of Omicron which is circulating in the country and uh, this hasn't particularly increased hospitalization, although uh, there have been deaths that have been reported in the past few days which have increased concern among the public. इस वक्त हमारे साथ आईएलबीएस के डायरेक्टर डॉक्टर एस के शरीन हैं सर कोरोना के मामले फिर से बढ़ रहे हैं तो क्या कहेंगे अभी लोगों के लिए क्या सलाह और कैसे देखते हैं देखिए इसका भय तो शुरू से था सब लोगों को कि वायरस वापस आएगा नए रूप में आएगा और हो सकता है नए हथियार लेकर के आए और वही हुआ धीरे धीरे कोरोना के केस होली के बाद से बढ़ने शुरू हुए और हो सकता है होली या हो सकता है कि उससे पहले में लोगों के मिलन से जो वायरस स्प्रेड करने लगा जो अभी वेरिएंट है एक्स बी बी पॉइंट वन पॉइंट वन सिक्स ये वेरिएंट बहुत जल्दी स्प्रेड करता है बहुत इन्फेक्टिव है दो दिन के अंदर इसकी तादाद बढ़ जाती है और इसके कारण एक से दूसरे में जब तक पता लगता है कि कोई लक्षण आए तब तक दूसरे में वो चला जाता है वायरस तो हम लोग कई बार ये भूल जाते हैं कहते हैं भाई मेरा खांसी गला खराब हुआ जुखाम हुआ पर तीन दिन से चल रहा था वो ध्यान नहीं रहता उन तीन दिनों में आप कितने लोगों को इन्फेक्ट करते हैं ये एक मेजर मुद्दा है जी तो जो आपने कहा कि दिल्ली में केसेस बढ़ रहे हैं वो मुझे लगता है इसलिए भी कि लोग थोड़ा सा भूल गए थे लोग थोड़ा सा ये एहतियात कम बरत रहे थे और वायरस स्प्रेड कर गया अभी जो वेरियंट है इतना लीथल नहीं है हमारे हॉस्पिटल एडमिशन जैसा आपने देखा दिल्ली बॉम्बे और जगह बढ़ गए हैं बट हाँ फॉर्चुनेटली अभी तक हमारे यहाँ मोर्टेलिटी ऐसी नहीं Let me now go across to Vedant who will give us a, a sense of the numbers now. Vedant, what kind of figures are we seeing in the number of uh, cases as well as uh, uh, the casualties or the fatalities that we are seeing because that particularly is now worrying people. You see, Mark, a couple of important things. But before coming to the numbers, let me quickly tell you that uh, Union Health Minister Mansukh Mandavia uh, will be chairing a high-level meet tomorrow, and this comes after. Uh, the empowered group of the government also conducted a high level meet in which it was uh, you know uh, reiterated that genome sequencing and increased testing have to be the focus as far as covid is concerned now couple of important numbers more than you know active cases and fatalities that you mentioned maha what is important to reflect on is the r rate now the r rate essentially uh, you know gives us a sense of how fast the virus is spreading that number is very crucial so the r rate according to experts is uh, between 2 and 3 so which means that one person with covid can actually infect two to three more people so that is the rate at which covid is spreading currently now other important numbers remember the positivity rate the as far as the positivity rate is concerned uh, uh, the the average positivity has almost doubled in the past one week the average posit positivity currently is at around 2.8% and it was at around 1.4% last week so you know that rate has doubled uh, mm -hmm. So of course, this means that COVID is spreading faster. Mm. Now, the seven-day moving average is also very important, and we have a lot of data crunching as far as that is concerned, or an, on NDTV.com as well. Mm. Uh, so that particular number, the seven-day moving average, has gone up by over five times in the past one month. But the good news, Maha, is that even the hospitalizations have increased, not just in Delhi but in Mumbai as well. Even the hospitalizations have increased. Doctors continue to say that the number of very sick patients. that number is low so that is a good news uh, so number of uh, patients that require intensive care or the number of patients that require you know very heavy oxygen support that number is low and hospitalizations have gone up almost four fold to seven fold in delhi 
as well as Mumbai. And as far as deaths, is concer deaths are concerned, Maha, uh, the that number has been the highest since October. So fatalities are also rising. Doctors continue to say that those people who are unvaccinated, hmm. that number is very you know, a, a very uh, sort of a meager number, hmm. but those people are completely unvaccinated. They are developing pneumonia and they are the ones who are actually facing the mortality. Hmm. So, you know, the message is simple for us to get vaccinated, mask up and also keep our immunities high, especially hmm. if we have comorbidities. Ma hmm. Vedan, thanks for getting all those details. Let me now go across to our two guests who are joining us on the show. Dr. S.K. Sareen, Vice-Chancellor, ILBS and Chairman, Delhi Government's Panel on COVID-19. And we are also being joined by Dr. Heman Thakkar, Member, Maharashtra COVID Task Force, Consultant Physician and Cardiometabolic Specialist as well. Dr. Thakkar, coming first to you, sir. Uh, what is the situation like in Maharashtra specifically and uh, the state of readiness uh, for any situation because the numbers in Maharashtra seem to have gone up quite drastically. So numbers have gone up all over the country and Maharashtra is no exception. We are seeing increased positivity. We are seeing people calling in for symptoms. But I will strongly reiterate mm -hmm. that there is no urgency as far as oxygen requirement as far as ventilator problems are concerned. And most of the people who are reporting severe, prolonged, protracted symptoms are the ones who have comorbidities. Another interesting feature is we are seeing co-infections, co-existing. We're seeing bacterial pneumonias and COVID positivity. We are seeing H3N2 positive, along with a background of COVID-like ground glass appearance on CT scan. So I would say the respiratory world is getting crowded. Mm -hmm. The way to keep the respiratory terrorists away is definitely mask. Mask properly in crowds, mask in public places. Try and avoid physical meeting in the sense, greet people with the namaste. There's no need to touch them or hug them. And if you can help it, try and avoid very crowded areas. Okay. And of course, if you haven't used your vaccination boosters, you're in trouble. In Bombay too, we are promoting, besides the COVID boosters, we are talking about flu vaccines and pneumococcal vaccination in those that need it. But flu vaccination is important because the entire array of diseases that we are seeing is not from COVID alone, but from variants of swine flu, from rhinovirus, and so many other things. Mm -hmm. So Bombay is no exception to Delhi, numbers going up, okay. very few hospitalizations, mm -hmm. hardly any ventilators or oxygen demand. Mm -hmm. I would request people not to make a hue and cry as far as numbers are concerned. You don't want to ruin the economics by you know, building up too many numbers. But the only reason I'd like the media to spread the message mm -hmm. is that mask up, improve immunity, mm. wear your vaccines on your sleeve, mm. and you shouldn't have a problem. Remember, it's right. an Omicron variant. Mm. And Omicron has been through the country a year and a half ago and That's has right. vaccinated everybody. Okay. COVID is here to stay. All right. All right, and we need to learn to deal with it. Uh, Dr. S.K. Sarin, uh, if we really need to learn to deal with it, uh, uh, despite the fact that uh, the world has gone through such a bad patch with the pandemic, uh, people still avoid wearing masks till such time as it is mandated. Do you think the time has come uh, for the message to come from the health ministry that people need to start masking up for this time period? Uh, thank you for inviting me. I want to clarify that the COVID task force for Delhi was earlier and I'm not the member now, right. but I did serve in the beginning and also for the Supreme Court task force. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have learned a lot in the past two years uh, due to the COVID infection and reinfections. My message is, firstly, if you had a COVID infection or a reinfection, even two infections with COVID, Generally, the immunity will be for 10 months to 15 months or so. 
So if you had a COVID in 2000 and let's say 21 or so, don't think you will always be protected. The immunity wanes after a time. Hmm. It is very well known that if you had COVID in the past and you take another booster or the complete the two plus one dosage, you add about nine to 12 months more of immunity, whichever variant is there. So there are three categories of people, those who never got vaccinated, definitely should get vaccinated, get two dosage plus a booster. Those who had vaccines but never got infected, you need to uh, sprue up again and get more boosters if required in your area. Third, if you got vaccinated, uh, infected, remember that is not lasting. Therefore, you need to get another vaccine booster. Now, mask is your own vaccine. It is the best vaccine you can have because it protects you. It's an individualized vaccine for you and your neighbors. I think, as rightly said by Dr. Heyman, we need to mask up in hospitals, in crowded places, in buses, in trams or in metros yeah. and also at airports. We should remember that you are not the one who is going to get infected. But if you are infected, you may infect many, many more. That's Therefore, right. I think the yeah. time has come. Yeah. There are beautiful data from Shanghai where there was a clamp down, you know, people were clamped for a time. The economic uh, economics had stopped. At that time, there was a really reduced, uh, you know, spread of the infection. When they opened up, the Chinese uh, never saw such kind of disasters, I think, as far as health was concerned. Yeah. So I think it is clear that we should wear masks. We should avoid places as much as possible for crowded places. Hmm. Two more things that people probably have forgotten. One, that if you have a uh, self-testing kit available, why don't you test every fever, every cough and cold that you have? Hmm. I think a self-testing kit is available. It is easy. You do it at yourself and report. Don't okay. forget. Okay. Number two, that if you have any cough and cold, don't mm. ignore alone, go somewhere, probably get tested because it is mm. the time that you may have COVID and you can spread it. Mm. Hospitalizations are not high, fortunately, but we may see it after two, two or three weeks time, morbidities can increase mortalities. Okay. The last thing in the previous COVID, which we ignored was people who are obese, overweight. And these people, even if they are young, they should be considered as sicker than the normal healthy people in the vaccine also trials all right we uh, seem to have lost our link there with uh, 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 all right uh, dr serene we'll we are unable to hear you dr serene we'll come back to you let me go across to dr thakkar dr thakkar one point that dr serene made was about using the self testing kits uh, which are largely rat kits so uh, we, uh, as in uh, the rat test basically tells you that you will not be able to spread the infection much even though it's not as sensitive as an RT-PCR test, sir, but good enough uh, to prevent the spread, would you say? So I think what Dr. Sarin was correctly saying is hmm. if you do a rat test and if it is positive, you will take immediate precaution to quarantine yourself and prevent the spread of infection. Correct. That does not take away from the fact hmm. that we have a lot of rat positive, RT-PCR negative, okay. but the utility of the rat kit is to quickly rein in to decipher the symptom and if it is positive, then not to push and go out hmm. so you restrict the spread. Correct. And I think uh, the the bottom line here, Dr. Thakkar and Dr. Sareen, that both of you are trying to stress on is uh, everybody must learn to be more responsible to not uh, spread this infection any further dr sareen is back with us dr sareen um, as far as masking up is concerned uh, which is perhaps the best mask at the moment uh, uh, will a surgical mask do or an n95 well surgical mask definitely protects you it's better than nothing and it will protect you maybe in 65 to 70 percent of cases even a small hanky can but a Three-layered mask is better, uh, surgical, but best, of course, is N95, where you have a very small, maybe 5% chance or so that you can spread or can get infected through. So my first choice is N95. They are readily made available in India. They are good. You should use them. 
but remember you can discard them or you can probably get them re-sterilized properly. The general public, even the kids have learned how to use a mask. We should not make this light. We should use mask. Maybe this variant will also go away. The only way out is vaccination and masking at the right time. Hmm. We do not have the capacity right now to have good antiviral drugs. Let's say you have TB, you have drugs for TB. Yes. But for this virus or in fact for any other virus, we don't have good drugs. Hmm. So protection and good immunity are the only things. Also, those who had COVID and had lung disease are extremely prone. We see patients who have got transplant or are very sick with liver disease. I think they are very vulnerable. We are seeing close to 300 samples coming for genome sequencing in a week, maybe sometimes even more at ILBS. And we find that the positivity rate in the samples which are coming is very high. Earlier, you have so many samples, very few were positive. Now, if you get say 300 samples, hmm. the number of samples which are positive is very high and okay. almost 98% are XBB 0 0.1, 0 0.16. So this new okay. variant hmm. rapidly spreads in about two days okay. time, it can become much more. Okay. It may not be as lethal as of now, hmm. but it is one of the fastest spreading variant okay. and it can have children, it can have lineages if we are not protected or semi-protected. All right. Uh, I, we are uh, running out of time, but Dr. Thakkar, I want to come to you quickly. Uh, you said that uh, COVID is here to stay and we need to learn to deal with it. Uh, but, uh, you know, after a pandemic, usually uh, we see the virus petering down. Uh, it's not being that effective uh, or, or lethal, for instance. When will we see that situation with the corona, novel coronavirus? Did you not have a honeymoon for 12 to 14 months? There was no problem. And even now, I deter with Dr. Sareen that this variant which we are seeing is a mild variant. It's spreading fast. And it's only hurting those people who have comorbidities. Mm -hmm. And it's the, the few deaths that you are reporting. You know, nobody reports a death of influenza. But the number of deaths that we are seeing in COVID now are quite similar to influenza. So it's because the patient with respiratory infection succumbs. Hmm. And just because he had COVID, you deal and you link it to COVID. It's a mild variant. Okay. And you can see that the children of these uh, COVIDs and the variants are all gradually but surely petering out. All but right. that doesn't mean that it's away. We are seeing the tail end. Hopefully, this will not go up, but we need to mask. Hmm. We need to vaccinate. Absolutely. And one other thing I need to tell people, don't call in for cocktails. This is a mild variant. You don't need a cocktail. You don't need antivirals. You only need discipline and symptomatic treatment. All right. Dr. Sareen and Dr. Thakkar, both of you, many thanks for joining <coughs> us here on the show and giving us clarity on the cases uh, that are rising of COVID-19, but also the doctors there helping us understand how to prevent this uh, infection from spreading further in the society.